Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be doing a review and first impressions on the new Topshop Air Cushion Skin Perfection Foundation. So this is what the packaging looks like here. So inside the box this is exactly what the packaging looks like. So it is a round cushion idea, something similar to the L'Oreal one, the Lancome one and many other cushion foundations that are out now. So yeah, this is what it looks like here. It's quite simple with a kind of just a white kind of front casing on it there with the the title of the actual product on the front of it there which says the Air Cushion Skin Perfector. So that's what it looks like there. So this one comes with a little button here which you just press in and the lid kind of pops up for you. So you don't have to sort of like dig your finger in and kind of push it up. So it comes with a little button like that and it just pops up. So there we are. So this is what it looks like inside. So again, you do get a nice big mirror at the top there. You get the little cushion sponge thing and then you have like this part here where your sponge can sit on and then underneath that is the actual product. So I'm just gonna pop this open there for you so you can see. So that is what the foundation looks like inside and I do have the shade number three. So I don't know whether this will be too dark for me but I'm just gonna go with it and see how it goes because I do want to test the formula and everything of it. So I could always get another shade at some point but yeah this is shade 3 so hopefully it's okay with a little bit of tan so it says on the packaging that this is an airbrush effect formula to create naturally flawless skin with a weightless fresh feel micro nice pigments blood away pores and imperfections while the sheer buildable formula adapts perfectly to all skin types let's get started on this so what i'm going to do is, is i'm going to use a sponge for one side and then on the other side i'm going to use like a dome kind of buffing brush just to see if there's a difference um of how it applies sort of thing so yeah i'm going to do this side with the sponge first Okay, so my beauty blender might be a little bit too damp for this to be honest because I just washed it there so hopefully it still applies okay so I can see some of my redness still peeking through there with it as I said I think this might be too damp So all I've applied underneath my foundation is just my moisturiser which is the simple hydrating moisturiser. I haven't used like a primer or anything. I don't normally use a primer that much on um, my face so so I think I might have to do is actually use a brush to apply the foundation on my neck. So it's applying quite smoothly onto my skin. The only thing I would say though is you have to actually dab the sponge quite hard into it sort of thing to pick up um, the product. Okay so it does say on the packaging that it is a buildable foundation and I can see now that I'm going over you know parts of my face again with a little bit more product that it is starting to build up a lot better. Um, so yeah it is buildable and you're starting to get more of a flawless um, finish when you're building up so yeah. Okay, so let's see how we're going so far. Right. Okay, so I can see there is still a bit of redness peeking through there. That's where I've got like my spots and my blemishes more there. So they're still kind of peeking through ever so slightly. Um, it hasn't, it isn't completely full coverage, I don't think, right now. Like, as it says, it is a buildable foundation. So you might need some more kind of like layers, this kind of thing, um, over like certain areas of your face where you have like more kind of redness. Um, so, so far, there is a little bit of redness still peeking through on my actual kind of, um, this part of like my cheek and my kind of my cheekbone sort of thing area and um, but so far it's feeling okay it doesn't feel too sticky like it's still drying down um i don't know actually know what the finish is on it is it see it's a matte finish or a dewy glowy finish so it says it's a weightless fresh feel formula so to me that feels as if it might be more of a kind of slightly kind of glowy slash dewy kind of finish yeah to me it's more of a slightly dewy finish it's got a little bit of a glow in it it doesn't like go matte or anything i don't think well so far it hasn't um so yeah so that's that side there with the sponge done so i'm just going to move on to the other side with this brush here and this is just from blank canvas this brush and it is their f08 brush which is a dome buffing brush so i did notice on the back there that it does say that you, if you press on the kind of cushion part quite lightly, it's more of a kind of sheer coverage you'll get, like quite light coverage. And if you do, you need to press more harder sort of thing to get a more kind of medium um, 
coverage so yeah like more fuller coverage yeah, i'm going to take the brush now i'm going to press that quite hard into it and then apply that to the other side of my face so i'm just going to start applying it okay so so far i can tell that this side here with me applying it with the brush is a lot better than this side to be honest because as i said i think my sponge my sponge might have been quite like too wet kind of thing for this but yeah it's a lot better i think so far with this brush yeah i can really buff that into the skin now i'm just going to take a little bit down my neck to match my hands and the rest of my body there okay so that side was a lot quicker for me to apply using this a dome kind of buffing brush and um, in one sort of like application there and um, it looks more kind of flawless there is more coverage using this brush on this side there is a little bit more red and speaky through still when I used this sponge removal techniques um but yeah so it is a lot better I think using a brush to apply this foundation and um, it does pick up a lot more product as well when you dab the brush into it okay so what I'm going to do is to make sure my face is even I'm just going to what I'm going to do is just dab that brush into the cushion and then just dab that onto this area here where I feel like it needs more coverage and um, because the sponge doesn't really cover much of the redness there okay so that is a lot better now okay so what I'm going to do is, is just apply my concealer and everything and then I'll come back and I'll tell you um, a little update on it to see how it's looking So that's looking good with my concealer so far so yep i'm just going to now go on and just kind of set my under eye kind of concealer in place okay so so far so good that's looking really nice so i'm just going to move on to my bronzer now okay so for contour i'm going to be using this bronzer here from topshop because i'm absolutely obsessed with this for chiseling out my cheekbones it's just great and you really only need a little bit of this as well because it is quite pigmented, it goes a long way and yeah I just think it's absolutely amazing for chiseling out your cheekbones. Um, I'm just going to bronze up my cheeks a little bit as well with this bronze here which is from Urban Decay and it's their beach bronzer in the shade bronze. So I'm just going to use that and um, take a little bit of that and apply that to the sort of apples on my cheeks and backwards and sort of on top of that contour okay so this is what we have so far so so far so good it's looking really nice with my bronzer and contour um yeah so what I'm going to do is now is just apply the rest of my makeup finish all this makeup off and then come back and by that time it'll be like like a little while later basically and I'll be able to tell you um, how well it's doing so yeah I'll be back shortly okay guys so I'm back and I've applied all the rest of my makeup now I was doing a first impressions on the new diamonds in the rough palette from sleek so I will list that in the description box if it isn't already up then it will be in the description box when it is up anyway this is my roundup of the foundation and it has been let me tell you it has been about two hours since I applied it and I can tell you that it's looking really good right now. It's not looking hellish or anything. It is actually really nice. Considering that the foundation didn't really match my skin, I had to like sort of um, blend it all down my kind of neck there, but it's blended really nicely actually. So yeah, really like that. So my redness has been covered. There's a tiny little bit just kind of still peeking through up there, a tiny bit around my kind of temples there. But nothing major so it does have a really kind of nice fresh kind of dewy kind of finish to it not dewy but a nice kind of glowing skin kind of finish to it as well which is really nice this side i applied with a sponge and this side i applied with the brush 
and the brush side was a lot easier to uh, was a lot easier to get kind of more fuller coverage not full coverage but a better coverage sort of thing um so yeah i do like using that with the kind of a uh, dome brush like this than a sponge sort of thing um but that's just my preference so yeah overall it is a really nice foundation um however it does say that it's supposed to make you look kind of flawless and sort of like airbrush sort of thing but i wouldn't say it makes you look dead airbrushed in a way but i do think that it has a nice coverage i wouldn't say it makes you look well it doesn't really make me look flawless in a way because i do still see some kind of red little bits peeking through uh, with my kind of spots and blemishes um but overall it's really nice it makes your skin look like skin like it doesn't make you look cakey or yeah it doesn't really cling to certain areas i don't think i don't really see anything clinging two minutes just to get up, up close right now Okay, so it doesn't really make me look cakey or cling too much on me. I could do have a bit of a dry nose um, just now, but and the foundation is not looking the best around that. But I had other foundation on the other day there, like that I normally wear. I normally wear from L'Oreal stuff like that, and that sort of clung to it as well. But that's just because it's quite dry. I don't know why it's dry, but it's dry. Um, and I had a little bit of dryness up here, and it hasn't really clung to the top bit, like the dry bit of patch I have here. It's not really clung to that. Maybe because I concealed well with that and also put a little bit of powder on there. So yeah, you know, but overall it's looking really nice, looks like fresh kind of skin, makes you look kind of nice and glowy, quite healthy looking. So for that part that it says it's quite lightweight and has a kind of fresh kind of um, skin look to it, then yeah, it really does live up to that. And yeah, really, really nice foundation. There is um, quite a wide variety of shades in it. it there is a quite light shade for more cooler skin tones. There is a few kind of warmer shades in the middle, like this one as well, which is number three. And then like they have like six, five and six stuff like that, which are from more kind of your really dark skinned. So yeah, yeah, there is quite a good um, shade range in it there and it sort of adapts well to your skin as well. So even though, as I said, I did have to sort of match it down my neck slightly there, like it has sort of like blended and settled really nicely with my skin. Yeah, a bit more tan, it would look perfect, but yeah definitely love the foundation really do like it so this air cushion retails for 12 pounds which is a lot bit cheaper than the l'oreal ones which is like i think it's about 15 pounds in the lancome one is dear obviously again so this is a really good alternative like a sort of drugstore sort of alternative and um, a little bit cheaper than the l'oreal one and i would say that the coverage is probably quite similar in a sense um, for coverage between the Topshop one and the L'Oreal one. So yeah, really nice sort of lower end retail kind of foundation and yeah, really like the packaging. It's really kind of um, simple. It's quite sleek even though there is a kind of cushion formula. As I said, I do prefer it more with a brush than I do with a sponge. So yeah. So yeah guys, that's it for this first impressions and review. I really do hope you liked and enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of this foundation. Like um, how you think it looks on me. Stuff like that as well would be great. Um, leave me a comment down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a huge thumbs up if you did like and enjoy it. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will speak to you very, very soon in my next video. Bye. Mwah.